host plant resistance what do you mean by that can anyone tell what is host plant resistance you see three terms are there one is host one is plant one is resistance what is that resistance of plant against uh, insect uh, attacks very good yes and that is only yes that means the plant is there okay that will be having this resistance this concept this mechanism this characteristics towards the pest suppose i will tell you see two plants are there okay towards one plant the insect are causing much more damage to one plant they are causing less damage that means the plant which is which have been caused less damage that will be known as resistant yes or no it may be due to environment it may be due to plant characteristics whatever it may be whatever may be the situation somehow the plant attack has been reduced so you see plant species which are fed upon by an insect is known as what your host plant yes or no suppose one insect is there okay and the insect will attack one plant or feed on a plant so at that time the plant will be known as what your host yes or no when human body will be known as host uh, known as host can anyone tell when human this human population will be known as a host can anyone tell for mosquito what we are host sir host yes or no similarly for the plant uh, for the insect the plant will be known as what your host yes or no for the page the plant will be your host okay so you can see another term is there very very important sometimes it may come in the exam the term okay related to what your inability of an insect to attack a non host plant or any kind of host plant also you can see if inability that means completely the insect cannot attack a host that will be known as what your immunity okay so you see different kind of definitions of hpr are there but you see the major one is what your painter rh painter given a definition he has given this definition in 1951 okay so how he has defined so you see the definition is relative amount of heritable qualities possessed by the plant which influence the ultimate degree of damage done by the insect this is known as what your host plant resistance what is the meaning of relative what is the meaning of relative suppose i will keep a single bottle in front of you can you tell this is bigger or smaller can you tell no sir no yes sir that means two bottles has just to be kept in front of you so that you can relate yes or no no this is smaller this is bigger you can tell similarly suppose i will uh, take you to a particular plot where only a single variety is grown can you tell that is susceptible or resistant no yes or no you cannot exactly tell yes or no uh, but suppose i will tell you in a field two different kind of uh, varieties has been grown and i will tell you you find out whether uh, which is susceptible which, which is resistant then you can easily tell no here the damage is more that is susceptible and here the damage is less that is resistant yes or no <coughs> understood yes sir okay so what is heritable what is heritable so which is carried to the next generation next generation generation to generation yes or no it is governed by the genes okay quality some characteristics yes or no possessed by the plant by the host plant okay so what this heritable qualities relative amount of qualities will do to the plant they will influence the ultimate degree of damage done by the insect suppose one plant is said to be resistant means here the ultimate damage will be less suppose one plant is said to be susceptible means here the damage will be more understood the whole definition or any doubt is there understood yes sir okay so that that one only defined by painter okay so you see lesser damage than average damage is taken as resistance if some average damage is there if damage is less then it will be known as resistant if damage is more then it will be known as susceptible yes or no a resistant variety produces higher yield than susceptible variety nothing is there when both are subjected to the same extent of infestation by the same insect at the same time yes or no resistance mean you see suppose uh, a proper climatic condition is there and uh, the environmental everything is same in the same field you have grown two different varieties so one resistant variety means yield will be more one susceptible variety means yield will be less that is only history yes or no resistance uh, resistance is a relative term that can only be compared okay then what is absolute resistance or immunity sometimes these terms come in the exam that means the definition will be there what is that it may be asking in the exam okay 
you see inability that means they are not at all capable to do any kind of damage or injury is known as what your immunity or absolute resistance which is generally rare in the environmental condition inability of a specific paste to consume to feed or to make any kind of injury okay towards a particular variety under any given conditions known condition that is known as what your absolute resistance or immunity so you see some specific uh, history of the thing uh, hpr is there which is very very important and uh, uh, definitely one to question will come in the exams here you can see uh, that means which variety uh, which variety of which plant develop resistance to which insect for the first time these two three examples are there you have to remember very very important you see the first one in 1782 the plant is wheat the paste is hessian fly mitola destructor okay towards this paste attack which plant wheat wheat plant okay which variety was proved to be resistant for the first time the variety name is what your underhill underhill is the first variety of wheat which proved to be resistant towards hessian fly that is the meaning of that scientific name not mandatory but minimum remember hessian fly year is not important similarly in 1831 what happened winter mazatin variety for the first time of which plant apple plant proved to proved to be resistant against which pest that is your apple uliafid eriozoma lanigerum similarly you see in 1890 90 ha huh? this uh, grapevine phylogera okay was control in french vine yards using this root stock of america for grafting by who has done this one dr sivirile understood that means in french they are causing damage from america the root stock was imported and used in french for which what happened this pest population was reduced okay because the root stock was having resistance towards that particular pest okay so and this method is known as what a relay method use of this american root stock okay next one you see rs painter published a book insect resistance in crop plant in 1951 and he is known as father of host plant resistance very very important it may come in the exam understood rs painter not rs printer okay rs painter ha huh? painting rs painter understood very very important definitely this question will come in the exam you see some intensity of resistance is there that means absolute resistance is known as what your immunity now damage high resistance means the damage will be very very less yes or no low resistance means somewhat the damage may be there susceptibility means the damage will be more highly susceptible means the damage will be very high yes or no this is the uh, what hierarchy immunity means not at all damage high resistance means very less amount of damage may be there low resistance means some damage may be there susceptible uh, susceptibility means more damage will be there highly susceptible means high damage will be there understood yes or no so you can tell that near this low resistance okay your average damage may come which may contribute towards any plant the paste may cause any kind of this average damage towards the plant understood in nature that is more prevailing so now you see this is important from uh, this your concept will start types of resistance okay you see two types of resistance are there one is ecological one is genetic ecological resistance is also known as what your pseudo resistance and genetic resistance is also known as what your true resistance ecological means what you tell me hello ecological means what ecological resistance has been developed in a plant what is the meaning of that who can tell you see ecological resistance means what the resistance is governed by the ecology getting my point suppose you see uh, you are sitting at your class you have some uh, bodyguards and some enemies came and they have fought with the enemy are you the resistant person are you the bodybuilder no yes or no this is governed by your environment by your bodyguards yes or no so is it true no that is your pseudo power yes or no similarly suppose two different plots are there in one plot the damage is more in plant in one plot the damage is less why not because of the plant but because of the environmental changes so is it the characteristics of a plant can you tell that is the true resistance of the plant no 
for example suppose you see two plots are there one plot name is n one plot name is uh, suppose uh, this b okay in n plot what has happened the nitrogen status is more so what will happen to the insect insect population will be more or less if more nitrogen will be there more insect population more so damage will be also more but suppose coming to the uh, field p okay suppose in uh, p number field the potassium fertilizer is more or phosphorus is more okay there what will happen insect will be more or less less sir. less because they govern the confer the resistance in the plant okay so due to the presence of differential uh, fertilizer the plant may be having resistant character or susceptible character is it governed by the plant genetics or plant genes or by any kind of the plant character is it governed by it is it governed by the plant no this is due to the presence of the environmental changes can you tell it true resistance no because this is not really governing by the plant that's why it is known as what your pseudo resistance you see uh, in ecological resistance which is known as pseudo or apparent resistance here the resistance relies more on the environmental condition certain crop varieties may overcome the most susceptible stage rapidly that means this is the susceptible stage very quickly they will pass that susceptible stage and thus avoid the insect damage okay or else you can tell early maturing crop cultivar have been used in agriculture as an effective uh, pest management yes or no uh, however plants that evade insect attack by this mechanism are likely to be damaged if the pest population built up yearly suppose you see every time of the year every time of the season if insect population will be more then those kind of resistance cannot work in the field because pest is there every time but suppose pest is not there every time when the plant is susceptible when the plant is immature then what will happen they may escape that disease development or damage of by the insect understood one by one we will discuss understood up to this yes sir yes sir okay so now coming to your pseudo resistance may be a one or combination of the following you see three type of pseudo resistance are there what are those first one is host evasion second one is induced resistance and third one is your what host escape okay so first one you see host evasion what is the meaning of that host evasion means what you see under some condition a host plant may pass through the most susceptible stage quickly or at a time when the insect are less in number for a successful infection or for a successful pest infestation okay uh, which two things must be there which stage of the insect must be there and which stage of the plant must be there for a successful infestation by the pest you tell me hello adult and vegetative stage you tell me adult is more uh, damaging or uh, larva are more damaging sir larva sir vegetative stage larva sir okay so when the insect is in the larva stage and suppose i will tell you regarding the plant early vegetative stage or late vegetative stage or this immature stage seedling stage which is more susceptible where the damage will be more early vegetative early vegetative or immature stage yes or no that means those are the susceptible stage that means if the insect is in the actively feeding stage that is the larval stage and the plant is in the susceptible stage then what will happen maximum pest infestation may be there in the field yes or no understood up to this that means this is a synchronization what environment sometimes do or human being sometimes do they make a synchronization in between the actively feeding stage of the insect and susceptible stage of the plant this asynchronization brings what your lesser infestation like you see only planting of paddy in kharif what they will do they will reduce the infestation of stem borer scriptophaga insectulus similarly your sorghum should fly if also you go for only sowing then also what will happen your their population will be reduced what i have told you in cultural method only sowing of rice in kharif 
late sowing of rice in rabi reduces the stem borer infestation so if that will be done due to this environmental characteristics what will happen pest infestation will be reduced for which it is known as what your host evasion now coming to the second point what is that that is your induced resistance okay you see the second point is your induced resistance what is the meaning of that A resistance is induced same example i have told before now only yes or no what i have told one plot is n one plot plot is k or p what is happening where the damage was less n or p k and p p damage was less yes or no but in case of uh, n the damage was more was it due to the plant no it is due to the difference in fertility status fertilizer status yes or no yes or no yes, yes sir. sir that means due to presence of more potassium fertilizers inside the soil the plant is said to be resistant that means the resistance inside the plant is induced by the presence of more amount of potassium fertilizer in that particular soil it is known as what your induced resistance so now you can see the definition it is a form of temporary increased resistance as a result from some conditions of plant or its environment such as changes in the amount of nutrient or water applied to the crop whatever it may be but this is temporary in nature not always escape suppose you see <coughs> students are sitting okay in the classroom suppose i have asked uh, started uh, any teacher started asking question roll number wise okay the class time is 45 minute okay now what will happen while going one by one one by one suppose a 30 number student what happen 45 minutes over class bell rang and all student went okay so out of this 50 student only 30 covered so 20 left so this left over Excuse. 20 students they were escaped from the question asked by the teacher is it due to the character of the students no it is due to the character of the environment or the school school has registered them at the end okay now the class timing is only 45 minute that's why they have escaped similarly suppose the pace is coming from one side so suppose from east to west it is going 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 and uh, killing the plants damaging the plants suppose what happens suddenly one day rainfall came which is unfavorable for them so what will happen their population will decline rest of the plants will be escaped this is known as what your host escape understood yes or no yes sir it refers to the lack of infestation or injury to the host plant because of transitory circumstances it may be any kind of situation due to which incomplete infestation has been done in the field not completed but incomplete infestation okay thus finding of infested plant in a susceptible population does not necessarily mean that it is resistant you cannot tell that those leftover plant are resistant you cannot tell that those 20 students are some heroes yes or no simply due to bell ring they escape simply due to this uh incomplete infestation those plants have survived escaped so all of these three yes, are, sir. so all of these three are coming under what your ecological resistance which is governed by the ecology not by the genetic characteristics of the plant okay now coming to your genetic resistance okay here you can see okay genetic resistance means what is the meaning governed by the genetics genes it is heritable from generation to generation it will go yes or no this is what your genetic resistance or else or else true resistance okay so you see different uh, categories of genetic resistance are there based on different different things first one is based on number of genes what are those monogenic resistance oligogenic resistance polygenic resistance okay what are the difference you can tell these things no need of telling uh, i i do not have to tell anything what is monogenic what is oligogenic what is polygenic sir uh, resistance governed by single gene is monogenic and uh, resistance governed by uh, many gene is uh, poly polygenic and the uh, true gene is uh, oligogenic oligogenic yes or no huh? there is nothing to tell single means monogenic 
governed by few genes means oligogenic so many genes means polygogenic no need to tell okay then major or minor gene what is the meaning of that one paste is major one uh, paste is minor what is the meaning of that suppose i will tell you paste major paste means damage will be more minor paste means damage will be less so major resistance means the resistance will be very strong minor means the resistance will be having very small effect yes or no hmm? major gene means what one or few major genes genes will be there which have stronger effect okay that means you can tell major gene means that will come under your monogenic or oligogenic characteristics resistance character what is minor genes so many genes may be there but they are having smaller smaller effect that is known as what your minor gene resistance okay this major gene is also known as what your vertical resistance and this minor gene is also referred as what your horizontal resistance why they are known as vertical why they are known as horizontal now we will discuss okay you see based on biotype reaction sometimes the question may come classify your genetic resistance based on biotype reaction at that time you should not forget that these are nothing but your vertical and horizontal resistance understood the storm may not be there vertical versus horizontal the term may be like this classify genetic resistance based on you uh, leave our different cultivar you take only one cultivar one variety okay and to this one variety what you have done you have released a paste paste having different kind of biotype what is biotype sir insects like with similar genotypes so like similar first you tell me interspecies or interspecies biotype means interspecies sir Intra, yes or no. that means within the species that means you can tell a different race yes or no getting my point that means just like this coronavirus is mutating huh like you see one paste population is there within that paste population only some physiological changes has been done some morphological changes has been done due to which what happen a different uh, what race of another insect has been developed but of the same species only so this isolated population is known as what a biotype suppose on paste is there bph in bph three four biotypes are there and if you release them on the plant in vertical resistance what happen biotype a different kind of resistance they will get biotype b different kind of resistance they will get biotype c different kind of resistance they will see get okay that means to vertical uh, to biotype a they may be completely resistant but to vert uh, but to biotype b c d e they cannot resistant understood or not suppose you have taken a rice variety suppose uh, lolat to this rice variety you have released biotype a biotype b biotype c different kind of bph biotype so what is vertical resistance this lolat of variety of rice they will completely resistant biotype a but b and c they cannot give any kind of resistance that means they are showing a differential reaction towards this different kind of biotype that is what is vertical resistance what is horizontal to a also they will give resistance to b also they will give resistance to c also they will give resistance similar kind of resistance but they are giving resistance smaller effect understood that is known as what your horizontal resistance that means in vertical yes, resistance yes. differential reaction is coming from the plant but in case of horizontal resistance no differential reaction which is biotype specific which is biotype non specific which is specific vertical or horizontal vertical sir vertical towards a they are giving more resistance but towards they are not giving but in case of horizontal no specific to everyone they are giving resistance but smaller effect understood or not what is quantitative what is qualitative qualitative means you see which is quantitative you first tell horizontal to different kind of biotype they are giving resistance but in case of vertical what qualitative towards biotype a they are giving a appropriate resistance but to others they are not giving there is a difference yes or no that's why it is known as what your qualitative resistance so one more you, uh, thing you see where the effect is stronger and where the effect is smaller which is high level which is low level you see towards a they are giving a proper resistance but in case of horizontal 
smaller smaller effect they are giving that means they can resist but not to a mark yes or no so which is having stronger effect and which is having uh, lower effect smaller effect vertical is vertical having stronger sir high level stronger and horizontal is low level smaller weaker effect yes or no now you tell me which is major gene and which is minor gene which is giving strong effect that is major one which is major genes vertical is vertical is major sir vertical yes or no horizontal is minor gene what i have told you major gene means they are oligogenic monogenic or polygenic major means oligogenic sir oligogenic or monogenic yes or no but horizontal means that is that will be polygenic yes sir no minor gene polygenic which is stable which is unstable sir uh, vertical is uh, unstable sir why sir because uh, um uh, what to explain suppose you see uh, your result came one student what will happen he will score 98 in case of entomology but in all other nine subject he will get 10% 20% 30% getting my point suppose another one is there he is not getting 90 or 99 in any subject but he is getting 80% 85% 75% 78% which is stable who is stable second one sir second one similar thing will happen here in vertical resistance what will happen to a particular biotype they may be giving absolute resistance or a high level of resistance but if a new biotype will be created they will cause much more damage but in case of horizontal whatever may be the biotype are coming that is okay they will resist some yes or no this is what a horizontal resistance that's why horizontal is stable and vertical is less stable selection pressure what do you mean by selection pressure selection pressure pressure on the selected things yes or no suppose you see you might have heard one term uh, you have discussed these things huh? you see whoever the strict parents are there their kids will be very much notorious yes or no why selection pressure if completely we will register person uh, to enjoy or to do those, those kind of things or you will completely register particular uh, paste to cause damage then what will happen nature is following which rule survival of the fittest so what they will try to do they will try to make a but new biotype yes or no that means as the pressure was there they are unable to survive now what they will do they need to change their morphology physiology whatever for their survival it will have a pressure on them to create a new biotype yes or no am i audible <clears throat> yes sir okay but suppose horizontal resistance it is not creating any kind of pressure on them that means they are coming they are causing damage but in lesser extent that's why it is resistant yes or no that means they are uh, able to survive so why they will have a selection pressure getting my point or not yes sir yes sir no that means somehow they are surviving so they won't create any kind of new biotype if new bi new biotype won't be created then your genetic people researcher how their problem will be solved they don't have to uh, ready for a new variety yes or no so if you put selection pressure they may create a new biotype but if you don't put any selection pressure no new biotype will be produced so vertical resistance what is happening stronger effect they are giving towards a particular paste so definitely they will have to create a new biotype again for that's why what will happen it is less stable yes or no but in case of horizontal resistance no selection pressure no biotype development so they are more stable one more quote yes, you might have heard yes or no when you do not have anything to lose you will be more what drastic dangerous yes or no similar thing will happen in case of vertical resistance if they cannot survive at all definitely they have to modify themselves to survive you see some other types are there miscellaneous categories like cross resistance and multiple resistance who can tell what is the difference minor things cross resistance and multiple resistance cross means what within the particular class you can tell like insect to insect suppose you have grown one variety that is resisting stem borer that is resisting diamond back moth okay that is what is cross resistance what is multiple resistance 
one variety you have grown that is resisting stem borer that is resisting downy mildew that is resisting salt area that is resisting drought prone area everything they are resisting nematodes and all that is known as what your multiple resistance high yielding variety okay that is known as what your multiple resistance like based on evolutionary concept one is sympatric resistance one is allopatric resistance sympatric means what native like in a area the paste was there the plant was there continuously the paste is attacking continuously the plant is resisting and affected by some major genes that is known as what your sympatric resistance okay plants have a continuous co-evolutionary history with the species of the organism okay it happens at the native area home of the plant this is what your sympatric resistance what is allopatric <coughs> The plant was grown from so many times, suddenly a pest came that has attacked the plant, but the plant is resisting that. That's why it is resistance, allopatric resistance. Now the plant is resisting. How? Due to presence of some smaller effect gene, due to some polygenic. The plant has so many kind of genes, out of which one gene is there, which is resisting that, resisting that particular new biotype of the insect. Then coming to your based on evolutionary trophic level, you see two types are there one is intrinsic resistance another one is extrinsic resistance suppose first trophic level is there on first trophic level which will attack paste will attack yes or no yes or no yes sir yes, sir. So, yes, sir. the resistance governing between the plant and the paste that is what an intrinsic resistance that means the plant is having some physical barrier physical characteristics or some chemical characteristics or some environmental things are happening that is happening in between the two trophic levels first and second that is known as what your intrinsic resistance what is extrinsic resistance understood what is intrinsic the plant is having some hairy very hairy uh, structure on the uh, leaf surface that's why this leaf hopper is not coming in between the two trophic level the resistance has been governed what is extrinsic it will go to the third trophic level okay that means what plant is there on that paste are coming on that natural enemies are there due to increase in number of third trophic level the natural enemies the paste population has reduced for which plant has escaped this kind of mechanism is known this kind of resistance is not exactly resistance this is pseudo only this kind of resistance is known as what your extrinsic resistance due to presence of third trophic level first trophic level got escaped yes or no yes or no yes. understood huh why that is intrinsic resistance and why this is extrinsic resistance characterization of resistance okay this is very very important okay four points are there you see four points only torque first one is resistance is heritable second one is resistance is relative third one is resistance is measurable and fourth one is resistance is variable heritable you understood what do you mean by that heritable means governed by the by the genes genes yes or no what do you mean by resistance is relative if a one tree is there can you tell that is taller or smaller no comparison is required yes or no similarly for resistance also if two varieties won't be there you cannot tell that which is resistant and which is which is susceptible yes or no that is what you relative whatever you told that is in the fourth point good then third point is what resistance is measurable can you measure it resistance you see you have grown two variety okay in both of the varieties insect population was there the disease population was there in one variety what happen yield is 100 kg per uh, some unit area suppose in uh, second variety what happened the yield is 50 kg per some unit area which is resistant which is susceptible Honorable? the one with higher yield is uh, more resistant sir resistant and with lower yield that will be less resistant susceptible yes or no that means there can be yes. it may be quantitatively it may be qualitatively why qual uh, how qualitatively you see the fruits you see the food products you see the quality of the particular uh, wheat or uh, what bread and all getting my point or not qualitatively also you can assume yes, that this may be due to resistant variety this may be due to your susceptible variety fourth one is what variable as you told okay 
due to presence of different biotic factor or due to presence of different abiotic conditions okay what will happen the particular variety of a plant may be different for different biotype or to different paste okay some kind of uh, vice versa okay similarly for a particular uh, plants uh, sorry paste species or for a particular biotype of a paste it may have different uh, what uh, reaction or action towards different variety of a plant vice versa huh? totally very variable from plant to plant from species to species from paste to paste from biotype to biotype 